You're watching Terrier Vision. Welcome into Gibbs Stadium. We're on a picture-perfect fall afternoon. The Wofford Terriers and Samford Bulldogs, the two remaining unbeaten teams in the Southern Conference, will go head-to-head. -head. Wofford entering the day 5-2 overall, 4-0 in the league, while the Bulldogs come in also 5-2 overall and 3-0 in SoCon play. Last year in Birmingham, Samford beat the Terriers in a double overtime thriller, 24-17. Here are your highlights. Out of the gun goes Summerlin with one back, Truss to his left, two receivers left, one to the right, no tight ends, and now Truss will motion and go to the right of the quarterback. Terriers are going to rush for us. Summerlin will throw, and it's intercepted. Alvin Ciano near side, 30, 20, 10, 5. How about a touchdown? A pick six for Alvin Ciano. He threw it right to him. First down and 10 at the Terrier, 18 from the right hash this time. Two receivers left, one to the right. And again, Summerlin out of the gun with a wing to his right. Flat pass near side. That is caught at the 20. The receiver fumbles the ball. It's picked up by Chris Armfield. Armfield returns it to the five, out to the nine, and the Terriers have it. Second and six at the 15. They hustle up to the line, pitch to the right, and the halfback's going to throw it into the end zone for a touchdown. Touchdown, Sanford. Chris Cephas on the reception. Terrier fans on their feet. They'd love to get a stop here and force a field goal try in a tie game. Final minute of the first quarter. Bulldogs third and three from the Terrier 13. Summerlin out of the gun. Two receivers left, one to the right. Play action. Stands in the pocket. Throws toward the end zone. Sliding catch. Touchdown. Chris Cephas. Five receivers for Summerlin. Three of them to the left. So an empty set. Five on the play clock. Summerlin looks like he's checking off. Now he gets the snap. Wofford bringing four. Summerlin will throw. Ball deflected and now intercepted. Chris Armfield has it. Terriers are going to take over on the pick at the 39-yard line. Either way, though, Cam Flowers with a first down run. Terriers first and 10. Hand off, and there's a seam for Donovan Johnson up the middle to the 40, to the 35. DJ to the 30, down to the 28. A quick hitter to the fullback, Donovan Johnson. Terriers first and 10 at the Bulldog 28. Two receivers left, one to the right. Play action. Evan Jacks looking to throw. Steps up in the pocket, now being chased. Now he's going to tuck and run. Far side to the 30. Cuts it back inside to the 25. Still on his feet. And then he takes a big hit at the 22-yard line. Terriers, who just had a touchdown nullified, now third down and 11 from the 15 and a half. They go out of the wing bone. Man in motion near side. Donovan Johnson handoff, keeps his feet, bangs his way to the 10, to the 9 and a half. It'll be fourth down for Casey. This will be a 26-yard attempt from inside the right hash mark. He's a right-footed kicker. Michael Comer will snap it. Paul Inclan is the holder. Snap a little bit high, but the spot is down. Kick with plenty of distance, and it is good. Casey Redfern with a field goal. Clock rolling. Second and goal from the one. Summerlin out of the gun with an H-back station to his left. High snap. He's got it. Handoff. Touchdown run to Morris Bledsoe over right side. Untouched. And Wofford will go to the locker room for a third straight week. Down double digits. First place in the SoCon is on the line. Third and 14 from the 20. Trips right, a single man to the left. Summerlin with a single back, stationed to his left. Out of the gun, Terriers bring four. He'll throw deep down the middle, intercepted! Bernard Williams picks it off at the 45-yard line. Watford football! Terriers hustle it up. Third down and two at the Bulldog 37. Again, Johnson handoff right side. Squirts through a hole, and he's got the first down to the 35. Dives forward to the 30. Wing bone on second and 16. Man in motion near side. Hand up off the middle, and Donovan Johnson has room. He's to the 30. 25-20. Donovan Johnson inside the 15, all the way down to the 11-yard line. First down, Wofford. Third and six from the seven. Two receivers left, one to the right. Jack's out of the gun. Two backs behind him, Will Gay and Donovan Johnson. No tight end, Samford, four on the line of scrimmage, three linemen down. Fake of the dive, pitch far corner to Gay, sidesteps a man at the five, surges ahead to about the two and a half yard line. It'll be fourth and short. Evan Jacks checking off on fourth and two. Gay in motion left, handoff, sweeping left, bangs his way. Did he get to the one? That's what he needed for the first down. He made it inside the two. He fell forward close to the one, and now it all will depend on the spot. All right, they'll stretch out the sticks. Did he make it? 
<laughs> first down Wofford, first and goal. Drive started at the Samford 45 following the interception by Bernard Williams. First and goal at the one center of the field between the hashes. They go from the wing bone. One receiver to the right in motion right. Raymond Smith. Hand off Raymond Smith. Sweeping right. Breaks a tackle. And he finds his way in. Touchdown Terriers. Second and eight from the 28 right hash. Twins left a single receiver right. Two backs. Play action for Jacks out of the gun. He'll throw. And that is caught. First down reception. Near side at the 37-yard line. Wade Francis with the catch. Jacks checking off. First and 10 from the 38. Four receivers. Two either side. He'll run the option right with Donovan Johnson. And Evan Jacks will keep. Lowers the shoulder to the 40 and takes a tackler out close to the 45-yard line. Terriers second and 10 at the 30. Wide outs either side, wing bone this time. And it's a give, and there's a hole over the left side. Donovan Johnson to the 25, pops ahead to the 23, maybe even the 22. On fourth down, wing bone set. Donovan Johnson is the fullback. Tight end lines up to the right. Evan Jacks up under center with one receiver to the left. Hand off Johnson, first down over the left side. He had a hole to the 20, to the 17. Third down and a yard from the seven. Out of the wing bone. Donovan Johnson, first down run. Spins to the five. Drives the pile forward to the two. And now it is first and goal. Justin Cooper again with the Sanford tackle. That is the final play of the third quarter. Wofford in close when we start the fourth here at Gibbs. Wofford first down and goal at the Bulldog three. Center of the field. One receiver to the left as the Terriers work out of the wing bone. Strong right. In motion right. One of the halfbacks. Hand off. Donovan Johnson bounces off the pile, but he has no room. Samford. Whoa! He snuck through the pile. No! He fumbled the ball. It was recovered by a Terrier lineman, and Ty Gregory runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Wofford. They stripped the ball out when they stood him up. It came right to Ty Gregory in the air, who caught it and ran it in for a touchdown. First career touchdown for the big man from Wow, 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 wow. Sanford started this drive at their 45 after holding the Terriers on downs. On first and 10, Summerlin rolling right, throws back across to Davis, has it at the 30 at the near numbers. He's to the 20, he's to the 10, he's to the five touchdown Bulldogs. Jawan Davis, 25 yard touchdown reception. Sanford, five on the line of scrimmage, play action for Jax, he'll throw to the near side. Will Gay has it at the 30, jukes ahead to the 35, first down as he falls forward to the 38 yard line. Terriers fourth and two from their 46. Two receivers right, one to the left, a wing to the right for Jax out of the gun. He's going to roll to his right, wanting to throw. Puts it up for Harp, far side. Breaks the tackle after the catch, far side 50. Michael Harp, 40. He's to the 30. He'll run out of bounds there. Wofford out of their comfort zone, having to throw it more than they run it. Down 10 points late in the ball game. Jacks checking off as the clock rolls. Now he takes the shotgun snap, running the option right, toss away. Donovan Johnson secures it near sideline, inside the 25, inside the 20, dances out of bounds at the 19. This will be 30-yard try, a 30-yard kick from the right hash. On the way with it, end over end, and he got it. Casey Redfern with a field goal. Third and nine from there, 21. Again, four receivers. Out of the gun, Evan Jacks gets the snap. Jacks rolling right, throws down the middle, caught. First down reception, Jeff Ashley at the 34. They'll stop the clock to move the chains. 34-27, Samford leading. Last gasp drive for the Terriers. Two receivers right, one left. That's the short side on second and nine. Two backs alongside Jax. Jax has trouble with the shotgun snap. Now he has it, throws. And Wade Francis on one knee makes the catch. Terriers need to get to the Bulldog 44. Fourth down, we'll call it eight. Ball at the Terrier 48. Evan Jacks with two backs alongside, out of the gun, three receivers, back to throw. This time he's got time in the pocket. On the run, he'll throw down the middle, incomplete. Out of the reach of the diving receiver, Will Irwin, and Samford is going to win this thing. Coach, uh, third straight game, you find yourselves having to dig out right. of a hole. Uh, right. But this was, of course, of a different color. Talk about the second half and, and why it was so difficult to come back on Samford. 
Well, uh, I thought in the second half we battled hard. Uh, we made some plays. Uh, we we got back within one score and uh, ran out of time. We we just didn't do the things that we needed to do uh, as a football team right there at the end. Guys were getting after it hard, really hard, and they're a tough football team. Uh, when you look at their skill set on offense. They've got a six-year quarterback. They've got an All-American tailback. And they've got some quality wide receivers inside and outside. Uh, big physical offensive line. And then defensively, that they're, they're tough. I mean, they're tough. They've, you know, they came into this game and they're undefeated. Uh, we came in it and we're undefeated. So, you know, it, it was going to be a battle. Uh, it could easily have gone and... Uh, been a blowout game in their favor. But we came back and, and our kids competed. Uh, we did a good job of making some adjustments and, uh, and we gave ourselves a chance to win. I called an early fourth down play and uh, you know, at that point in time, uh, I felt like that uh, points were gonna be valuable for us. Uh, they had been a team that had scored a lot of points and uh, we, we felt like that any time we crossed the 50, that, uh, that we needed to be productive somehow. It was a short yardage deal. Uh, it didn't work, and uh, that gave them seven points. We lose the, the ball game by seven points. So uh, bad call on my part, and uh, hopefully I'll do a better job of uh, making the calls. Uh, Alvin Ciano did not play for the entire second half and a portion of the second quarter. Obviously, you missed him. What's his situation? What was the injury? And, and, and where did you miss him in terms of scheming? Well, uh, all you have to do is look at the first play where he intercepted it and took it to the house. He's a playmaker. He's a pass rusher for us. And uh, he's a guy that um, is a difference maker. And he was on the boundary. He couldn't play. Uh, I, I think it's something with his groin, and uh, thank goodness we, we've got two weeks to hopefully to get him well. Uh, Evan Jacks plays the entire game at quarterback. Your yep. thoughts on his play? I thought he did well. I, I thought he, um, he did a nice job of um, taking the offense uh, back and, and uh, creating uh, momentum for us where – gave us an opportunity in the game to win. Uh, there were some jitters uh, starting out, but uh, we, we had, uh, I think, a game plan that, that helped him. And uh, he showed that he can run it. He showed that he can throw it. And uh, even when things broke down, he was a guy that, that was uh, still moving uh, the sticks for a first down. All right, you get an open week and then a big game now at Chattanooga, right. the 9th of November. Uh, what do you do with the open week to get ready, and, and what kind of things can you work on with the extra time? <laughs> well, we'll work on um, all the fundamental things. We'll work on uh, making sure that all of our guys understand conceptually what's up, uh, understanding the option, understanding the throwing game, and then defensively uh, doing our best to get everybody uh, – Playing the way that we need them to play, it's it's a it's another work week. That, that's what it is. It's an opportunity for us to get better, and we're going to need to be better. Uh, we're nicked up, um, and hopefully, we'll get everybody back healthy. Uh, there's three games left in the season, and all three of them, quite frankly, are championship games. Uh, you've got a team like Chattanooga, and you know they're going to have a run at a championship. Uh, you know, App and Furman, you know, th those guys are always tough. So uh, we have a lot uh, that we can improve on. Uh, the, the best thing that came out of the ball game, I think, was how hard the kids fought all the way to the end. So with today's 34-27 victory, Samford remains unbeaten in Southern Conference play, upping their record to 4-0, and while the Terriers slip to 4-1. and Next up for Wofford, after an open week, a key SoCon game at Chattanooga on the 9th of November. That'll be a 2 o'clock kickoff at Finley Stadium. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.